All of these pictures were taken in Washington, D.C., where I got to visit the American Indian Museum at the Smithsonian. Lucky me, I got to hear Blackfeet people from Montana share all about their culture and traditions. Good morning, Hawthorne Hawks. It's Monday, November 18th, and it's going to be a great week. On Friday, we are celebrating Hawthorne School. Because we're a Blue Ribbon School, we are going to have Hawthorne Hawk Blue Ribbon Day. That's on Friday. And you need to wear your red shirt or a black shirt or your Hawthorne t-shirt to school. I can't wait to celebrate you and our amazing staff on Friday at Hawthorne School Blue Ribbon Day. In the next couple of weeks, we are going to talk about what makes a good leader. You know we have leaders and we need leaders in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. We need leaders in the state of Montana. We need leaders like our mayor and city council and county commissioners in Missoula, but we also need leaders at Hawthorne School. What makes a good leader and how can you be a great leader for our school? Part of being a good leader is being responsible, respectful, safe, and kind. Let's see who our high flyer winners are this week. Orion in Miss Campbell's class. Serenity in Miss Campbell's class. Ariana in Miss Campbell's class. Margot in Miss Firm's class. Wilder in Miss Nesbitt's class. Dakota in Mrs. Pritchard's class. Aurelia in fourth grade. Trace in fourth grade. Morgan in Miss Sheehan's class. Hayden in Mrs. Riley's class, Rye in Miss Firm's class, Aaliyah Kicking Woman, you got a beach box. Come down and get a Hawthorne t-shirt. Good job. Thanks for being safe and respectful on the bus. That's leadership. Nehemiah in fourth grade, Madison in Mrs. Pritchard's fifth grade, Bailey in Miss Nesbitt's first grade, and Daxton in Miss Tao's kindergarten. Come on down. Remember, Work on being a good leader, and don't forget, build that stamina for reading, writing, and problem solving.